Hi there guys, in this module we're going to do the full walkthrough and actually go ahead and create a Google My Business account. So first step, I'm going to go to Google and type in Google My Business. And obviously the top result will be Google My Business, so I'm going to click that. Now we're on the Google My Business homepage, so this is the page for Google My Business for you to set up an account. So the big green button is where to get started, so I'm going to click Start Now. So I'm already logged in into my Google account, so you'll notice here in the top corner, I'm logged in. If you don't have a Google account, you'll need to go ahead and create one. So if you have a Gmail address already, you'll already be able to get to this stage. If you can't get to this stage, you need to create a Google account, which is very easy to do. Just type in Create Google Account and then you'll be able to create one yourself very easily. And when you're logged in and you can go to Google My Business, then all you need to do is click the green button to start the process and you will end up on the page I'm on right now. So I'm going to call this business Bob's Plumbers. There we go, and I'm going to hit Next. I'm based in the United Kingdom. I'm going to give a street address of King Street, which is an old office I used to work in, and we'll do the post town of London. And the postcode is going to be W60QA, which is an area of West London I know very well. Now there's an option here to say I deliver goods and services to my customers. If you deliver in a radius, then to tick this option means that you can imply more around what you do in terms of delivery and the areas you can service. And if you do have something that's not specifically a store, meaning that you have no fixed location but you operate in a specific area, you can also tick this box as well. So you don't actually create an address, even though your address might be here, which could be your home, it could be just a, a temporary address, but you might not necessarily want people to know it exists. So in this, in this occasion, you could tick hide my address and just be available in an area. So you might deliver to different areas and have a mobile service. If that was the case, you would click this. In my case, I don't, I'm gonna have a fixed address. So I'm gonna get rid of this option. And I've ticked the box, I deliver goods and services to my customers. I'm gonna untick that as well because I'm just gonna make my business a plumber. I don't deliver anything. Um, even though technically a plumber operates in an area and they don't necessarily need a fixed address. For the purposes of this, I'm just gonna go with a fixed address because it's one of the more common types of places listing, which is a shop or a restaurant or a bar or something along those lines. So I'm gonna hit next. So it says, it looks like my business may already have a listing on Google Maps. So it's one of those things where they think that it could be one of these areas because they're linking different business names that are on here with what I typed in. Now this can be quite common. They might try and link things together. For example, Bath Store Hammersmith. I'm definitely not Bath Store. I've got my own business. So I am none of these and I'm gonna hit next. So you can drag and zoom to position your business where it's located, but if you put in the correct zip code or postal code, you shouldn't need to do this. But if your, your accuracy is a bit wrong and you might need to move it, then feel free to go ahead and move it across or along into the right position that you need. But in my, in my case, I don't need to do this because it's in the right place. So I'm gonna hit next. So the next thing you need to do is choose the category that best fits your business. So there are a number of categories and as you start typing, you can see the category starts to appear. So I'm gonna do plum and I'm gonna find plumber or plumbing supply store. So I could either, if I'm a plumber and my main thing is actually supplying the taps and fittings and fixtures, I'd pick plumbing supply store, but in this case, I'm actually a plumber. So I'm gonna click plumber. You'd find your business in that list of the type of business you're, you are, because there's so many options in that list. There's no way you won't be able to find it. So now I'm gonna hit next. The next thing you need to do is list your contact phone number and your current website address. So there are a few things you can do here. First of all, your current contact number, very straightforward to do. You can put in a telephone number here and that will allow you to show customers your number on your listing. If you have a website, you'd put the URL in here. For the purposes of this, I'm just gonna to go to my personal blog and use the URL for that. So I've just opened a new tab. I'm gonna copy that just for the purposes of this. 
and put that in there just so it shows a listing as well. And then you have an option saying I don't need a website and you can get a free website based on your info as well. So if I didn't have this website, I could actually click this link and what will happen is Google My Business will generate a free kind of website for my listing on top of that. But we won't do this in this example because I'd, I'd imagine most of you guys have a website and you can actually use it here. If you don't have a website, then you can tick that option and go through the process. In reality, you should have a website. So I'm gonna go down the route you should have and that is to have a website and to tick this option here. Contact phone number. I'm gonna try a test number to make sure if it works. If it doesn't work, then I might have to find something different. Let's see if it accepts my test phone number. And it did, excellent. So now I've put my telephone number and my website in. The next question is, would I like to receive communications from Google My Business? I really don't want to get emails from them. If you're a novice at Google My Business, it might be quite useful to get updates from them. But in my case, I'm gonna click no. And it's all finished. So verify and finish this, finish and verify this business. So it says to manage your listing, you'll need to verify your connection with this business. What you'll get with verification means that you can get people to find you on the map. You can promote your business with photos, track analytics, and respond to customers. So there's still a step that needs to be done in the future to verify my listing, but for now, I'm going to click finish. And when the page loads, let's see, and here I am. So you actually have to put in a real phone number to get a code for your telephone number. So if you don't put your real number in, you, can, you won't be able to verify your business. Now, however, you can click an option here saying none of these work by me. So what used to happen with Google My Business is you used to be able to get a postcard with the code as well. So they've made it telephone verification now to make things easier, but that wasn't always the case. You used to have to request a postcard, which is still something that a lot of businesses do. If you don't wanna give Google your telephone number, you can do it this way, and it can take up to four days to arrive, as you can see here. But in reality, it's something you can do if you want to verify your business with a postcard. They'll post it out to you, it'll have a code on there, and all you need to do is go to your listing and put the code in. But for the purposes of this, I'm just going to put my name in and I'm going to say, mail that to me. So it says it's coming in a few days. I can still go to my listing and use the listing for now, but it won't appear on the map until I verify it. So that's one thing to consider. Make sure you verify your listing with either receiving a postcard in a few days and typing in the code or using your telephone number and verifying your business over the phone. So I've hit continue and that should take me through to the page for my listing. So it will come up with an option to say, welcome to Google My Business and it should say, get started. And that's it. So my business says here it's pending verification, which means I won't be able to get everything live on Google Maps and Google My Business. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I could still walk you through how to use this system, which is exactly what we need to do anyway. So thank you for watching this part. So now you've created an account. We're going to walk through a lot of the functionality within Google My Business in the next module.